Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So guys, for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial using the Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette. I've actually done a mini tutorial on this. I think I'm gonna use like one or two shades, but I want to play with it again. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm definitely want to use this shimmer shade because it is fabulous. It is absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that shadow. Is that shade not just absolutely gorgeous? Oh. So yeah guys, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be playing with a lot of these blue shades and greens and turquoises and teals. And I'm going to be taking the P. Louise eyeshadow base. As you can see, I already have my brows done and I have a wee bit of concealer on them just to carve out my lids. I can tell already that this hair is starting to annoy me, so... I'm gonna put these wee clips in so it's out of the way. I'm kind of thinking on what to do. <laughs> I was gonna take Trick first of all, but I think I'm gonna take Cursed, which is this dark shade. And I'm gonna be taking this on a Sigma blending brush. Does anybody else get really intimidated? <laughs> And really nervous whenever they're playing with like a new eyeshadow palette or they're just going on completely blind and they don't know what they're doing. Yep, same here. <laughs> as much as I love makeup and as much as I love playing with it, don't get me wrong, it can be very, very intimidating. Like black eyeshadow, liquid liner. <laughs> you can sense your fear, you know. So I'm just going to start patting this. Just at the outer corner. I'm also going to be bringing that up round. Still maintaining that shade just within the crease. Just going on pattern motions for now. I'm not doing any blending. I'm just patting on that shade just to build up the pigment first of all. I think I'm going to wing this out as well. So I'm just going to start to create my shade. I'm just going to focus on my crease work, creating the shape that I want. Can you believe the pigment in this palette as well? It's not crazy. So I'm then going to take the exact same brush. I've cleaned that off with my. This wee thing here that I use to clean off my brushes and I always sit with this on my lap. It's a really old t-shirt that is absolutely cloud makeup and whatever. I just have that sitting so I don't get like my legs or my clothes dirty and I can just wipe my brushes on it. Because before I used this t-shirt I used myself to clean stuff. <laughs> I'm just going to diffuse this line. I not want to blend out too much but I'm just wanting to blend enough that it's just going to diffuse that line. And I find that the lighter handed you are with this, the better your blend will be. Like I'm barely touching my skin. Just really feather like strokes. You're literally just like, tickling your lids. Like you're just barely touching your skin. Cause if you just think like if you're going really, really hard, you're just gonna move the product and you're just gonna move the shadow to places where you don't want it to move to. That was my phone. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry guys. How exciting. <laughs> so I got a new phone yesterday, it's the iPhone 12 or something. So because I got it yesterday I don't have a screen protector for it. I also don't have a case for it. So I'm keeping it in a sock until I get that. I ordered stuff off eBay last night but I don't know what's wrong with it. Like whenever I go onto my messages, nothing comes up. Love that for me. Um, 
what else what other problems am i having oh yeah i'm not able to sign into my youtube um it will not accept my email or or not my email my password which is 100 percent correct by the way it won't let me sign into my studio um yeah it's just it's in fucked at the minute <laughs> so oh look it's my boy hi handsome just slide that back into my sock <laughs> Okay, so I'm just kind of wondering what goodness I'm going to go on with next. Either Elixir or Bewitched, but I think Bewitched. Yes. I'm just starting on the inner corner. I like to focus my blend just in the one area to start off with, just so I can really perfect it. So I'm even further going to blend that out and I'm going to use this shade here, Wish. I honestly can't believe how amazing this new palette is. Beauty Bay's makeup is honestly so, so good. Like, see their bronzer? I've been loving it at the minute. It's actually the bronzer I'm going to be using today. It's so, so good. Like, their makeup has just improved so much this year. I'm going to take the Morphe M562 brush. I'm going to take a bit of Cursed. This is the first shade that we took. And I'm going to intensify that shade within the crease, but I'm going to start blending it up into the upper crease towards those two blue shades that we use. Okay, so once I have that done, and please excuse the sweet nick in here. Whenever I was cleaning my lids, I actually had a bit of the P. Louise eyeshadow base on my lashes, and it flicked up. So I'm just going to take this wee um, buffing brush, and I'm actually just going to start buffing this outer edge, or this outer corner, sorry. I'm first off going to take Spell. Just zoom out a bit, that's a bit creepy. Um, so yeah, just a spell. And then gone into a potion. And again, I'm just going to apply this just to the outer corner, but mainly like in the center of the lid. I'm going to be using the XX Revolution Face Freeze Primer today. Oh, oh, I absolutely love the smell of this primer. It smells so, so good. But it does feel quite nice and hydrating and it just makes the skin just feel really nice and plump. And then for foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Punjab. And I was actually really wanting to wear like a high neck top today because my neck looks really, really bad with fake tan. <laughs> and then I'm going to be using two concealers today. I'm going to be using the Conceal and Hydrate from Makeup Revolution and it's in the shade CO.5 and then I'm also going to be using the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer and this is in the shade Custard. So basically these two kind of balance each other right. This one's too light for me and then this one, it's not necessarily too dark for me but it is more so like my skin tone colour so it doesn't necessarily highlight too much whereas this one here from Makeup Revolution highlights too much because it's too late for me so they just kind of balance each other out really well I'm just going to take a pointed beauty sponge 
to just really get in that inner corner. And then of course my favourite step came to cream and bronze, W7 um, makeup and glue and bronze and base, this is this one here. For a wee while there, I think this was discontinued or something. Something had happened to it anyway that it wasn't being sold anymore, I could not find it anywhere. I don't think any of you guys could find it anywhere. And I think they actually reformulated it, so it's now back. This is obviously the old one by the way, the old packaging, the old formula. Um, I think the old formula, I think that's what they've done, I think they just reformulated it. Plus it's different packaging as well. Or maybe they just repackaged it, I don't know. <laughs> All these possibilities. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's honestly just as good. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to do my jaw first. See, every time I put a bit of cream contour, around my jaw. I don't know about anybody else but I always forget to blend out and like halfway through the day I'm like shit. <laughs> so guys I know with all these Christmas makeup looks like I have to say they're all very full glam aren't they? I do have a couple of wearable ones coming your way. I promise. <laughs> um, like at the minute I'm pre-filming like crazy. Christmas as I say has came so quick this year it's just sprung upon us and I feel like I'm running out of time but hopefully not and that's why I'm pre-filming like crazy at the minute so yeah. But I know like my makeup looks have been extremely like full glam and very full on and everything um, so I have got a couple of wee wearable ones. <laughs> But that's what I love about Christmas makeup tutorials, like it's just a time for glitter and sparkle and just to play with makeup, like it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go out looking like this. Do you know, I think somebody has maybe requested this video before but I'm thinking more of doing it. Um, but would you guys like a wig collection video? Just let me know, like, would you just want me to do like a full dedicated video on all my wigs, telling you what they're like, whether they're worth it or not, what's good about them, what's bad about them, trying them on, showing you what the tea is. I'm going to do some baking now. I'm going to be using the, the I Heart Revolution coconut scented baking coconut scented baking powder. Oh my god! Who remembers this? <laughs> okay, I can't find a clean powder puff. This one looks really dirty on this side, but on this side it's clean. Ish. <laughs> but guys, who remembers this bag and powder? My favourite. Oh, I love this so much. Oh my god. I'm talking about wigs. I'm honestly so excited <laughs> for this evening. So basically, once I finish filming this video, I need to edit and upload a YouTube video. And then this evening, I'm going to be colouring a wig. In case you maybe don't know, I actually got sent a real hair wig, god, a couple of months ago now, and it's brunette. It's a beautiful wig, but I'm just not brunette. <laughs> I've worn it quite a few times out in public at this point, and I love it. I absolutely love it. The colour of it is gorgeous, the feel of it is gorgeous, the quality of it, absolutely love it. It is so perfect in like every way, but the only problem I have with it is the fact that it's brunette and I'm just not a brunette, guys. I can't take myself seriously. I look like a monkey. <laughs> so I'm going to give it some highlights. Maybe a bit of an ombre situation. Like it already has like butterscotch and caramel colours through it. Like wee highlight spots. I'm going to like try and lighten it even more. Oh my god. I actually forgot how intense this powder was. I see if you love a really bright under eye. Or like a setting or begging powder that really maintains the brightness within your under eyes. It sets beautifully. Amazing, fabulous. This is the powder for you. Right, I'm going to be using Doll Beauty in the shade Shine Bright. Then for my blush, I'm going to be taking this one from XX Revolution and it's in the shade Retro. I don't know, I just kind of thought that an orange toned blush would go quite nice with this. I make up look. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. 
So here's a question that I've been asking absolutely everybody recently and I'm going to ask you this question. But what's a Christmas film that you dislike that everybody else seems to love? So a Christmas film I definitely do not like but everybody else kind of seems to like is Elf. The one with Will Ferrell in it. Will Ferrell? Will Ferrell? Will Ferrell? Will Ferrell? Will Ferrell? <laughs> Will Ferrell. <laughs> um i don't know just no definitely not can't have that movie at all um and i don't know why although do you know something like if it was on and i was forced to sit and watch it no problem but i don't know it just it annoys me it just really really annoys me and i think like i like will ferrell as an actor but in that movie he just he just annoys me honestly someone needs to headbutt them um <laughs> just Will Ferrell running around like a big child in really tight leggings no thanks that's one bulge I do not want to see around Christmas time I don't like anything that's animated I absolutely hate anything that's animated Pole Express put you to sleep dear god what even <laughs> How boring. Although, do you know the only Christmas movie I don't mind that is actually animated is The Christmas Carl. It's the one that has Jim Carrey in it and he's obviously Scrooge. And then for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Beauty Bay bronzer in the shade Fawn. This is honestly such a fantastic bronzer. It's definitely a bronzer I've been reaching for recently. It is so, so good. And I actually think that Beauty Bay have three for two at the minute on their products and sure away you're on by the eyeshadow palette while you're at it <laughs> but then next up for my second highlight it's just like a really luminous icy glow with reflex of gold and blue just the highest points of the cheekbones that's it because these are really really intense and they're really glittery as well so I don't think that this is going to be for everybody this type of highlight oh my god that's literally just glitter <laughs> um i'm gonna change brushes i'm gonna switch to my morphe brush and again i know this is not going to be for everybody it's going to be too intense i'm aware oh that was like a grinch smile <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> i am a weirdo <laughs> oh what even Okay, so I'm going to do something I absolutely despise doing. I'm going to put something in my waterline and I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner and this is in the shade Fresh <laughs> and that's the colour of it. See these wee liners? These are the best neon liners I've ever used. <laughs> And I'm not even joking and they're waterproof as well so they last forever on the lower lash line well not forever that's impossible but they just like you've even seen how easy that was for them to apply brushes um I'm just gonna take this wee brush here all right my loves so lower lash line let's get this done <sighs> look what I ended up doing guys I hit Pam on this shadow. That shows you how rough I am with shadows and how much I like dig in and pat on, dig in, pat on, dig in. So yeah, I'm just going to dig in again to that shade actually. <laughs> and then I'm also going to be taking a mixture between these two shades here. Just a mixture of both. Always look at that, I've just hit Pam on that shade too. Can you see that? I'm so rough with shadows. <laughs> I'm still not finished with the eyes, but I'm just gonna carry on and do my lips first and then we'll come back to the eyes. So Primark lip liner in Toffee. I don't even know why I'm gonna bother actually showing you what I'm using for my lips because it's the same as the last two times. Um Colourpop lipstick in the shade Appy.
did not think of that before. Oh, oh my god. Fuck yes. I am in love. Yes. Okay guys, so this comes to the end of this tutorial. I honestly absolutely love this palette so, so much. So again, this is the 20 color palette, the Book of Magic palette from Beauty Bay. It comes with a mirror as well, by the way, but I don't really use that. But yeah, I love it. Like I've even hit pan on two shades at this point, as I was saying throughout the video there. But honestly, obviously you've seen how it performed at my eyes. This is actually my second time using it. And obviously today I did dip into some more shades. Um, now, next up, <laughs> I would like to do like a really nice purple toned look. But obviously as well as that, there's like neutral shades in here as well that I can even do like an everyday makeup look with it as well. But I don't know. I love it. So far, the shades that I have used, I am absolutely obsessed. I just absolutely love it. All the products that I did use will be a list and link down below in the description box, along with my Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. So don't forget to go and follow me on all of those. And you also might have seen down in my description box, I also have a couple of YouTube channels linked down below. These are just girls that I want to support with their YouTube channels. So it would be nice if you could go and support them as well by checking out their channels, go and like and subscribe and show them some support. That'd be really, really awesome. But again, guys, thank you so all so, so much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Please be kind and look after yourselves and each other and I shall see you in my next video.